Welcome to the Virtual Institute of Accounting and Finance. Today we are going to start our lessons with paper FA1, which is regarding financial transaction. You might have seen the detail of this paper in the summary, which is a separate video. Chapter 1 of this uh, paper is business transaction and documentation. Chapter 1 is divided into nine lessons. Lesson 1 is type of types of business transaction. In lesson 2 we are going to find the answer that what is a business. In lesson 3 we are going to see that why a business is separate from its owners. Lesson 4 focuses on documenting business transactions. Lesson 5 focuses on invoices and credit notes. Uh, lesson 6 discuss the discounts, rebates, and allowances. In lesson 7, we are summarily discussing the sales tax. And we, are, we would have an introduction about it because the subsequent chapters will focus uh, on detail. In lesson 8, we are going to see that why we store our information. In lesson 9, we are going to see about the importance of data protection. First thing first, lesson 1, types of business transactions. In your studies for ACCA Foundation in Accountancy Qualification, and specifically and especially for this paper on transaction accounting, which is paper FA1, you will be concerned with business and business transactions. There is no one definition of a business. It means there are so many definitions about the business. Although we all know more or less what it is. Broadly speaking, it is a commercial organization, large or small, doesn't matter, which exists to make money or profit for its owners. It may make this money by manufacturing and or selling goods or services to its customers. Business transaction. Wherever property chains hands, there has been a business transactions. It means wherever or whenever you exchange properties, there is a business transaction. The main types of business transactions are sales and purchases. And also, business transactions are conducted in two main ways, cash and credit. It means sales and purchases occur in two different ways, by cash or on credit. A sale takes place at one of two points in time. One, cash sales. If the sale is for cash, the sale occurs when goods or services are given in exchange for immediate payments in notes and coins, or by check or plastic cards. 2. Credit sales. Goods are ordered and delivered before payment is received. If it is on credit, the sale occurs when business sends out an invoice for goods and services supplied. Cash is received later. A purchase also takes place at one of two points in time. Purchase for cash and purchase on credit. If the goods are paid for in cash, then the purchase occurs when the goods and cash exchange hands. If goods are bought on credit, the purchase normally occurs when business receives the goods accompanied by an invoice from the supplier in, and cash is paid later. A cash transaction is one where buyer pays cash to the seller at the time the goods or services are transferred. A credit transaction is a sale or purchase which occurs sometime earlier than cash is received or paid. With 
credit transactions, the point in time with when a sale or purchase is recognized in the accounts of a business is not the same as the point in time when cash is eventually received or paid for the sale or purchase. There is a gap of there is a gap in time between the sale or purchase and the eventual cash settlement. In credit transaction, it is possible that some something might happen during the time when result in amount of cash eventually paid, being different from original value of the sales or purchase on, invoi on the invoice. There are other types of business transactions which need to be recorded as well, like payment of wages, borrowing money, offering discount, or etc. But the simplest form of business transaction is a cash transaction. This was today's lesson. Thank you.